Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of a brand new series of Barnet Road to Glory where I'm going to try and take Barnet from League 2 all the way, well, to the top of the Premier League although that might take me a long time. So yep, yeah, so I've picked Barnet from League 2. The uh, reason I picked Barnet is A, their team is mostly made out up of 50s. Uh, they're also recently promoted, of course, from the conference. Um, and it's quite an exciting team to use. It's going to take a lot of rebuilding, a lot of replastering, uh, picking probably players from the youth team mostly, as well as a few transfers that we're going to have to make by ourselves. So let's do it to it. Okay, so here are our settings. Um, going to keep the first transfer window off. I'm um, going to go with strict board settings and... European competition, all that really doesn't affect us. There's all my details. I've, I've turned the first transfer window off, basically just a uh, personal preference. I just don't like teams getting all muddled up in the first window. Uh, it also makes it a bit harder for us. We can only sign free agents and youth players for the first six months of the season. It's about right. So, um, yeah, it's going to be quite a difficult challenge for us. So the game will set up now. Uh, we're going to go to Germany for a pre-season tournament, basically just for the money, although there's a lot of Irish teams there for a German competition. This is our squad then. Um, nothing too fancy. Michael Gash is pretty much like his namesake, pretty Gash. Akinde, he looks quite decent. Uh, playing 4-4-2, I will probably look to change that in the future, um, although I don't really have a good attacking midfielder to play my preferred 4-2-3-1, so that's something we're going to have to work towards. Pira Dembe looks pretty tasty, pretty tall, good physical stats for a centre-half. He's average. Gavin Hoyt. Alright, okay, I might uh, might have to keep him. Mark Randall, another former Arsenal player as well. So th there's something to work on. A um, lot of players that need a lot of work in the training but that's something we can work on here is the squad in full Graham Stack from Arsenal 33 um, I did record this after the first game so you'll have to excuse the fact that some of the stats might be a bit skewed but we'll work with that so yeah Stack contract expiring in 12 months might look to get rid of him we do have Jamie Stevens as well although it's really easy to to build up a, uh, a youth team goalkeeper from the game from the start. Just waiting for myself to move on here. Yeah, Jamie Stevens, 21 years old, 59, only a rating behind Stack and someone we can definitely build up to, to make better. Perhaps going to start giving him more games, maybe get rid of Stack at the end of the season. He's got a much longer term contract. Only 6 1 though, Stack is 6 2. I'm not too much of a fan of. Goalkeeper's at 6-1. I quite like to have a tall goalkeeper. James Pearson, not great, really. Gavin Hoyt's got quite good physical stats for a right back. I want someone with a lot of speed going forward. Someone that can bail us out going back as well. And, you know, 60 rated, pretty good. One of our better players in the squad. Yep, Hoyt's probably going to be, be kept. Someone we can build on. You know, we know that we're going to have to rebuild this squad, so... It's, it's going to take its time. Ali Sisse, I think that's how you pronounce that. Mm, pretty average. I guess he might be alright. No one that you can really depend on. Michael Nelson, 35. Probably a bit too old. Contract's expiring in, nine month, in 12 months, rather. Yeah, another one that could probably go at the end of the season. Who else have we got? Harry Taylor. Something that's going to have to be worked upon. Mm, Bonds and Gala. Yeah, he's, he's alright. He needs some work, however. All of these players need work, though. What am I saying? Of course they do. Vera Dembele, I really like him. I think he's going to be uh, probably the star centre-half in this team. and Someone we can really depend on. Someone we can perhaps have to make some money out of. The further the game goes on, Charles Kennedy, or Charlie Kennedy, not the, the late politician. Sam Muggleton, he looks a bit average, really. Elliot Johnson, probably who I'll start with. He's young, 
20 years old, not bad. Muggleton doesn't really have the physical stats to to back up a, a small rating. Sam Togwell, experienced central midfielder. 12 months again though, 30 years old, maybe let him go. I guess it depends how the season goes. We might get to the end of the year and, and need some of these players. Tom Champion, only 29 as well. But he does have a contract. Skipper, yeah, Dom. Probably want to keep him 12 months. He might be someone we have to sign up before January. He might be someone that a few clubs will be sniffing around at. Phil Hete, yeah, he looks pretty good as well. Someone that we can probably train up to be better than a 58. I mean, I, you can really exploit the uh, the training on this game quite well if you use it well. He's on loan. I don't know where he's on loan from. Northampton. I'm probably not going to keep Hackett unless we have a mad shortage of central midfield. Uh, sorry, of right midfielders. Curtis Weston. Yeah, he's a bit of a runner. Mark Randall. He's probably our best passer. Only just joined the club as well, actually. Um, I can't actually remember where he was from. I don't think it says because we didn't sign him. Yep. Uh, Randall probably going to play in that deeper role. Fonguk, funny name. Maybe someone we can work on. Gambin, another good wide player. Another someone. Oh, we can afford to let his contract drift a little bit, I think. Shemerton, um, not too bad. Good physical stats, and uh, that he's got quite a bit of pace. He's not someone that really has the. Stats going forward, though, to be an attacking midfielder in the team. Akinde, hopefully, will be quite good for us. Michael Gash, yeah, I'm probably going to have to get rid of him. Matthew Stevens is fairly average, really. Kudja Carroll, yeah, I'm not really interested in him. James Roberts is all right. It's on loan from Oxford. Nothing too special though. Sean Bat, yeah, he's pretty useless. We can probably afford to get rid of him. And that is the squad. So like I said, we can only sign free agents from now until January. So Chumacero, we're gonna add him onto the scouting list. We probably won't be able to scout too many because we are a League Two team. Um, I've probably just gone for people with a lot of pace, which is something you sort of need in the lower divisions. Jan Ning looks pretty tasty. Mena, yeah, he looks all right. Dino and Louvre, I sort of want him just for his name because Peter and Love had a cool name. Anyong hit the Kwan, someone else. He looks quite good, actually. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at him. Also going to hire a youth scout. That's going to be very integral for our growth because we are going to have to try and find some decent potential players out of the youth system. So, sent Lee Tilly on its way. Just scout England for three months. Um, I usually go with physically strong, just because they're usually players that come out with quite good physicals. First batch of training. Hopefully we can get a few of our current squad players to be a little bit better. And on to our first game against Shamrock Rovers. Oh, that purple kit. I'm going to love using that. Why Purple kits are all the rage. I'm not really sure why. So I made a couple of changes to the squad as well. Um, mostly people I will probably be playing. Put Bat on the bench here to Stevens. Bira Dembele is going straight into the start in 11. Play him on his preferred left side um, I won't show me making changes every time this will probably be my preferred 11 that I will go with like I said I don't really want to be playing 442 that long just because um, well I like playing with the attacking midfielder so I'm very used to playing with a 4231 and if I do play 442 it's usually with a diamond which was my very successful formation with a Wolves team I had on this game. Um, however, we really don't have an attacking midfielder that we can just stick in behind a striker to or, or two strikers to to make it work. Mark Randall's probably got our best passing stats, but he doesn't really suit 
an attacking role. He's very much uh, suited to a much more of a deeper lying role. And here's me failing to put balls into small goals. Trying to be too fancy there. Oh, back heel. Almost hit the wrong one. Yeah, this is an absolute fail. I got one. I haven't actually done this with anybody. I couldn't do it with Mesa Ozil, so I don't know why I thought I could do it with Mark Randall. So first game. So yeah, uh, anybody got any transfer suggestions they might have? Loan suggestions for January? Drop them in the comments. Uh, tell me who you'd sign. I don't really have a clue who I'm going to sign because I don't really know who will be available. There's a couple of loan signings. Obviously got very annoyed there. Sorry, there's a couple of loan signings I'd probably get, but other than that, I don't really know who to get out of free agency or in January when we can sign players. So let us know. Anyway, Signal Aduna Park for first game. I don't know why we'd be playing at Borussia Dortmund's ground, but there you go. So we pretty much dominate this game. Mark Randall being the absolute MVP. Finds Akinde, puts the ball in the net very early on, but Akinde is offside. A bit frustrating. But that is something we have to live with. That was the margin. Not too, not too shabby. Anyway, Randall continues to torment them. Here's Akinde again going in, trying to find Randall in the middle. They get it away. Frustrating one that. Again, everything runs through Randall in this game. Akinde turns his man. Good ball out to Yeardom. And Michael Gash oh, really should be scoring that. Randall doesn't do very well to, to not turn in the rebound. But, oh, well, here we go again. Get the advantage. Akinde into Randall. Turns it round for Michael Gash. One touch and a finish right into the top corner. Really good finish from Gash, who I'm not really expecting all that much from. But there you go. Opening goal of the game. Brilliant move from Barnett. Brilliant move from Randall, who really looks suited to this team. Someone that we are going to have to rely on a hell of a lot this season to uh, to go forward. But uh, we can deal with that. Nice use of, uh, of the wing players as well earlier on in the game. But there you go. Nice little passing move across the edge of the box. And excellent finish from Michael Gash. Here's me playing replays over and over again for absolutely no reason. Well, I would be amiss to say that nothing else really happened. They had a chance punched out. I don't really get to the rebound. And this is one of those weird ones where they sort of carve one out of absolutely nothing. Second half, Gash sticks one wide. Should be doing better than that. That's sort of the finishing that I'm expecting from someone of such a low rating. And um, yeah, mass substitution. I think I just put this in because I found it funny. Michael Gash is like, what? He can't believe he's been subbed. Anyway, I hold on. They have a couple of chances towards the end. Uh, you can see how bad at defending I am. Don't get anywhere near him. Good stop from the sub keeper, Jamie Stevens. Someone that perhaps will be getting a look in. Poor defending again from me. They put one over the bar. Perhaps a bit lucky just to hang on. But um, in the end, can't complain. Easy 1-0 win to start the pre-season off. I was about to say start the season off. So very well done from the lads. And a uh, good start to the group. Look how many people. I think the whole of Barnet is in that stadium. It's like the second largest stadium in, in Germany. And we've filled it. Got to dig that realism from EA. So, on to our second game of pre-season. A game against Bohemian. Again, at Signal Adina Park. Another Irish side as well. Uh, nice little start to this one. Open in 10 minutes. Nice little uh, passing move between our forwards. Goes to a kin uh, Sorry, not to Akinde. Goes to Gambin, who smacks it off the post. Not quite sure how. And then a little give and go between their uh, forwards. Akinade smacks it past Jamie Stevens. Really cheap goal to concede. Not happy with our defending, to be quite honest. Way too easy for them to thread passes through. I mean, look at this. Little, little give and go on the edge of the area. Not one really closed them down. That's got to be addressed. Nonetheless, 
go up the other end straight away. Good ball in. Good header across the bat. And Akinde gets the equaliser very soon after. I think about a minute after their, uh, their opening goal. Nice little work, I think. What great cross from Weston, must be said. Uh, goes deep. And then uh, another brilliant header from Bass. Cross to Akinde for the equaliser. Keeper for them probably should do a little bit better, let's be honest. Wasn't very convincing for them. Look how many people in there. Get a hold of Barnet in that stadium, probably. Sorry, Barnet. Uh, again, though, Akinade oh, gives us some problems. And again, look how open he is to get that shot off, which he smacks way wide. That's pretty bad from him, but worse than us. Um, and we have our fair share of misses as well. We hit the post again with this one. Here, Dom goes forward. Great shot. Right off the post. Look how angry he is, though. Yeah, that's the only reason I left this clip in. Anyhow, just before half time, we do get. Uh, the one that puts us in the lead. Luke Gambin makes up for his earlier miss. A brilliant finish there. Slotting it right into the corner. That is the finishes I absolutely adore in this game. And you just get those sort of curlers into the corner. Brilliant pass from Akinde. Akinde's great. Um, he's playing 4 for 2 at the minute, which obviously given bat, as we showed earlier, quite a decent little partnership they seem to have going there. but. He, uh, he can thread a few, few ball, three balls in, rather, and um, he's quite decent to have just to uh, hold the ball up and play a few midfielders into play. Anyhow, second half, five minutes in. Yeardom makes up for his earlier miss. Brilliant cross, and Weston, who assisted, well, free assist assist for the, uh, the equaliser, gets his goal, 3-1. Excellent header for him, nice little run from deep as well. And that's how it finishes, 3-1 to Barnet. Uh, quite simple, and we move on to our final group game, Cork City. Another Irish side, all Irish teams it seems, in Germany for some reason. And it starts really well. Akinde runs through, plays it into Randall, hits the goalkeeper, and their defenders, Dung on Uh Not really sure what happened there. Own goal from them. Um, robbed from Randall, although I suppose he put it straight at the keeper, so probably deserves to lose the goal to be honest. Uh, not too long later though, we do get a legit one gash, good play through to Vahete, who uh, scoring just like Gambin, who we replaced in this game. With a nice little curling finish into the top corner this time. Solid from him. We're actually playing in Schalke Stadium in this game. And just before half time, it all goes wrong for them again. Good save. Defenders and goalkeeper Dungon Goof. Of course, falls to Borjete. He puts it in the roof of the net. 3 0 before half time. Excellent showing in this final game, it must be said. Celebrating with the subs there. But yeah, this is a really simple victory, to be quite honest. Um, Cork really didn't threaten all that much, if at all. Make the subs at half time, give Stack off a game, and also put on Shumerton, this 18 year old lad. And this lad is someone we need to really look at in the future. Holds off the pressure, evades the tackle there, puts one right in the top corner. I mean, Cork didn't really give us any threat the whole game, but for an 18 year old lad to be sticking them away like that, he is someone for the future. Need to look at only about a 55 rating as well, so definitely a lot of growing room. We don't come away unscathed though. Again, don't really deal with the cross and easy volley for them. Oh dear, 4 1. Nice volley, I must say. But that's it, that is that. 4 1. Three victories out of three it means we're into the semi finals of the pre season tournament. Very happy with that. That's another game for pre season. And that'll be that for this week's episode as well. So I will see you next time.